Hey guys, welcome back to the channel if you're new. My name is Irma. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and tidy up here a little bit in the living room and then we're going to start decorating for fall. I am going to bring in more of the fall traditional colors with the oranges and the yellows and all of that. Um, also too with a little bit of touches of green of course, but I am going to be skipping the pumpkins for now. I feel like this year I've been drawn more to just bringing out like all the florals and the leaves and stuff like that and kind of waiting for or pumpkins more towards maybe Thanksgiving or so or probably just until September because like mid-September more closer to fall because I don't know just this year I've just been feeling like the whole energy and vibe of just using just the florals and the greeneries and all of that kind of stuff and just holding back a little bit for the pumpkins but i love how everything turned out this year it's a little bit more different from last year's decor last year i felt i was more in a dark cozy moody um style and i love that decor also but this year it's just a little bit different so i hope you guys enjoy So I do have these pillows here that are reversible. I've had them for several years. I picked them up at Costco. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and play with my throw pillows and figure out how I'm going to put them here. I always use the plaid or the checkered side for these pillows. I don't know why I've never used the gather sign, but probably when Thanksgiving starts coming closer, I'll probably just turn it around to give it a different look and add, I mean, just put it like to say gather. But I'm just going to be playing around with all of the pillows I have in different ways and see how I like it best. When you have a lot of pillows to play with, sometimes the challenge is kind of hard. Um, so I was just trying to figure out what I wanted to keep, what I didn't want to keep. I think I need to stop buying pillows and invest in buying more, um, like the pillowcase or the pillow covers instead. But then I'm also going to add this beautiful, so soft Screams Fall blanket here that I picked up at Burlington a while back. Um, I just love the colors and the tones and everything on this blanket. So as you can tell, the sofa area is already coming together, looking nice. We still have to decorate the coffee table, but I'm going to go ahead and do some other stuff. So here I have this basket that just has like extra throw blankets in here. We also have the ottoman that is like so full of blankets, I'm not going to lie. Um, so I decided I'm wanting to put this one here. This one used to be on the sofa from my last video, if you guys saw that. Um, so I was going to put it here, but then I decided to go ahead and switch out the uh throw blanket we had on this little chair over here i love this chair and how cozy it is so i went ahead and removed the beige one that was there and i'm just gonna add this one here because i feel like it just brought more of that warm um tone over here or like just the cozy vibe and then we do have our electric fireplace running i do get asked a lot about the fireplace so it is not built in in our house I actually picked them up for free on Offers Up many years back. There's three of them, but this one is the only one of its style. Um, we, and we just have like a electric insert. So before we um, decided to do this whole setup with the fireplace, the old TV stand we used to have had an electric insert. So what I did was I just removed that and put it in the fireplace. So it just looks like it's on. We can also turn it on for it throws like the heat out and it's still very cozy. But here I was just using the light. But you guys saw me there. I did switch out the lamp and everything and put the beige throw blanket into that little 
side of the table, I mean, on the side of the sofa, but now we went ahead and moved on to our coffee table and I did just add the tray and then I did put this little box here that has like the coaster holders in there. But I don't know what I was thinking, like, I guess I never looked at the back of this little coaster holder and it's just like definitely not a pretty sight to say. Um, so yeah, I will be removing that more towards the end. You guys will see that. But we're just going to go ahead and play with this vase that I have here. I did get some greenery from our pine tree or our, like a Christmas tree that we have out in the back. I think it's a redwood pine tree, the one we have there. And I just chopped, cut off some stems there. And I'm just going to add this here and mix it up with some dry florals and of course some fake florals. So now that the centerpiece is done in our coffee table, we're going to go ahead and quickly move over to our TV stand. So it was a bit dusty, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down. Then I'm just going to start off playing with the garland that I have from Hobby Lobby. Um, it's the same kind that I shared in my last video, which was our fall um, entryway. And I love the way the entryway turned out. So if you guys have not checked that video, go ahead and check it out. The entry was actually filmed back in the beginning of July. Um, Jayla was just wanting to starting to decorate for fall and everything. So I went ahead and let her help me decorate that entryway. And since we decorated that entryway, I'm not going to lie, but I have not switched out not even one thing in that entryway. We just loved how it turned out, how cozy and inviting it is for whenever somebody walks through the door. Um, and for me, if you guys know, I am very that type of person that often switches out things or changes things. But I just, the entryway, I just love the way it turned out. But going back here to our TV stand, you guys did see I put the green the garland and then I fluffed it out and everything and just to tone it down a little bit from all the bright orange and yellows I am adding some more of the tree stems that I cut from our pine tree outside in the backyard and I just love how all of that is starting to come together and then I'm also going to be using some florals The florals I decided to use here are the ones I picked up off of Amazon. I shared these in my one of my last videos of when I was showing like my pre-fall decorate, like transition in, in from summer to fall. These are the same florals. I feel they were just very versatile and just kept on going with the flow and the vibe that I was going with. So I just went ahead and add them here.
Well, here is how the garland turned out here on our TV stand. I just love how it looks. I feel like I only do a garland here on the TV stand during fall and Christmas, but I don't know why. I'm kind of thinking like I should do them for like spring and summer and stuff like that because I just like how it looks so different. But over here, I decided to go ahead and switch out something a little different. So I am removing that candle there and I used another one of those greenery stems from our pine tree. And then I just went ahead and add more of the faux stems like the ones we used on the coffee table and I think it just turned out so cute. So for this little side table on the side of the sofa that is near the hallway, I did remove the spider plant that I had there because I already had a greenery plant there. And then I'm just going to add in this white crock, um, these stems that are also from Hobby Lobby. I really like the tones and the color of these. So I just went ahead and added two there and I started puff or fluffing them out, fixing them. And then we're just going to go ahead and move on to this little seating area that I just love over here, how everything turned out. I did mention in the video when I decorated or and I set up this whole area that I do not switch out any of like my picture frames or anything. So it's just kind of like it goes with the theme and the vibe of our home and stuff like that. So I just fixed the throw blanket and then I was trying to decide what pillows I wanted to add there. So I went ahead and did this square one and then that pumpkin one, but I feel like it wasn't working. Um, and then I went ahead and added the sage color one with that one, but I, I don't know, I felt like it wasn't something I wanted there. So I just went ahead and stuck with the sage one. And then just for another pop, I added the greenery and another acorn. But then I did switch it out a while afterwards for a dish with some candy on there. But now we're just going to go ahead and quickly swift our floors because they are a little dirty and dusty. And then I will be sharing all of the afters with you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to click the like button. That lets new YouTube and myself know you guys enjoy watching videos like this. Helps also helps for YouTube to push out more of my videos for you guys and for other people who might be interested in this kind of decorating style and if you guys have not clicked the subscribe button i would love if you guys could go ahead and consider in doing that now um and i hope to see you guys all in the next one have an amazing rest of your day and i'll see you guys bye guys